हाई एवरी वन माई सेल्फ कुलदीप साहू अ सेकेंड ईयर एम बी बी एस स्टूडेंट एट पी डी जे एन एम मेरी कॉलेज रायपुर एंड हैव स्टार्टेड अ न्यू एम बी बी एस सीरीज अ मास्टर एंड आर्ट मी अ कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव गाइड दीज मास्टर एंड आर्ट मी सेशन विल बी अ कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव गाइड टू बी स्कोरिंग हायर विजुअलाइज बेटर रिटर्न ग्रेटर एंड कनेक्ट द बेसिक्स विद द क्लिनिकल्स इन दिस सीरीज देर आर फाइव डिफरेंट वीडियोज एंड ईच वीडियोज कंटेन डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ टू परफेक्टली ड्रॉ अ डायग्राम इन योर एग्जाम टू गेट अ मैगजिम मार्क्स so without any further delay let's start this video whether you are studying bd chorus's anatomy or vishram singh's anatomy always and always refer your diagram from your classroom notes whatever your professor teaches you that is the best diagram to be drawn in your exam and even though if you don't have classroom notes then and you want a standard diagram to be followed then you should follow the vishram singh's textbooks anatomy wali diagrams that is the best diagram to be drawn in your exam because their diagrams are more exam friendly and are line diagrams so they can be easily drawn in a exam and they are easily labeled neat and clean in exam now coming to the key points that to be remembered while drawing a diagram the first point is always try to draw a diagram in an empty page if the page is half written then draw it in a next page don't be stingy mingy when it comes to your exam you will be given enough page to write in a exam secondly your diagram should be big enough to be clearly visible to the examiner it should not strain the examiner's eye note that during drawing a diagram space should be left around the diagram for labeling coming to the third point in anatomy color coding is the utmost thing which carries the maximum weightage if you had drawn a muscle with a green color and a ligament with a brown color even though correctly labeled you will get a zero marks so keep in mind your diagram may not be perfect enough your diagram may not be that much clean but the color coding must be correct fourth point is a kind of psychological trick during labeling of a diagram never do a mistake to label it in all directions like a flower you have four spaces upper space lower space left space and right space never ever use upper space and a lower space to label either use left space or right space or both right and left space but remember one thing when both the spaces are used then it should be labeled symmetrically fifth point is a very basic point that we are actually executing from our school time that is never ever label your diagram with a pen or a color pencil always use lead pencil to label it now coming to the sixth point an eye catching point and the last point of this video now this is the last point sixth point and an eye catching point never forget to write one liner description below your diagram i can explain you this with an example for example you have given you have given a question to draw a diagram of an arterial supply and venous supply of a heart you have drawn the diagram and now you have to write a description just below the diagram like diagram a shows arterial supply of heart and diagram b shows venous supply of heart and if you have written any abbreviation in your diagram then mark it hysteric and write this hysteric in the description these were the six most important points to be remembered and to be taken care of during drawing a diagram in the first two videos i have talked about the books online resources three lectures atlas apps and many more and now today i have talked about the diagrams in the third video these three videos are the basic fundamentals to learn and understand the anatomy and these were the topic that must be known now in the next video i'll be talking about how to study anatomy effectively and retain it longer to get an update for the next video do subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification so that you cannot miss the next video that's it for today till then keep learning keep hustling i'll meet you soon in the next saturday at night 10 pm